you to get lost and find yourself. You can see the village of Sintra down there and today we are visiting the Moorish castle. It was built in 8th century when the Moorish conquered most of Europe. It was reconquered by the Christian kings during the Crusades. And to get to the castle, don't forget, you need to walk a lot. Even some people die in the way up. No, it's just a cemetery, it's just a representation, don't worry. It's not that bad. There's a lot of stories about this castle, but it was left abandoned. 1838, the king, Fernand II, in 1840, spent a small fortune to cover this place. When they built the Palacio de Pena, the place even became more famous. It became a national monument and part of Sintra cultural landscape and the UNESCO World Heritage Site. It gives you a great view to the village of Sintra and to the mountains that surround the place. <laughs> also gives you a great view to the Palacio de Pen and is a great place to enjoy the sunset. Bit windy, but great. The surrounding area is just green and has a forest and is great for exploring. We lost in the jungle. Has many areas for rock climbing, quite interesting. We just walk in in this beautiful house. I don't know if they're private, but everything is open and can visit around. That's the passion flower. Ah. Passion fruit flower. Mm -hmm. There's a lot of flowers around and gardens. And we're going to the wish well. So the philosophy of this place was for you to get lost and find yourself. Oh, I, I just heard the lady, she was telling that to the I'm believing her. The place has a strong emphasis on nature and there is a lot of tunnels because it means you need to go from the darkness to gain the light because the light only gains meaning from the darkness. Let's go up to the wishing well. We're going to the well of initiation where the... What's the name of them? The Templars. And this is the initiation well. 30 meters deep. It's like an inverted tower. Not good. All close. The candidate is taken blindfolded and is left in the darkness of the well to find the way in the endless dark caves. Here, the Templar or the Freemason can go to the dark to gain light. Yep. Because there is no light without darkness. And this network of tunnels can take you to many places in the regulator. Let's go and do the waterfall walking. Where? Some of them have a symbolic value, like the waterfall. When you walk in the rocks, represents the miracle of Jesus walking over the water. Famous place, and now we just get lost. Go up. The great part of exploring the forests. It's more organized in the base and becomes wilder toward the top. This reflects the belief of Carvalho Monteiro in the primitivism. It's primitivism is a romanticized view of nature and the simple life. In claim. <laughs> in claim. And a critique of industrialization and modernity. Romeo, where are you? <laughs> Hi, how are you? Of course, a great place to get lost. The base is more organized with buildings and lovely people trying to take memories home. And if you like mysteries, in this lower part there is more caves. Let's go into darkness. These tunnels are connection to many parts of the farm. Some of them are closed, so you cannot see them. Photo. Funny reactions. You can always use your phone flashlight to find a way. Yeah. And you have this lovely part, the promenade of the gods, which is adorned with statues of various Greek gods, with Venus, Hermes, and Dionysus. And we're going to visit all the palace itself. Now, this place is heavily decorated and very beautiful. And of course, it's all over Instagram too. Palacio da Quinta da Regaleira, or Palacio Monteiro the Millionaire, was design designed by Italian architect Luigi Manini and was built in the early 20th century by affluent businessman Ant Antonio Augusto Carvalho, who had a passion for the occult. Mm -hmm. 
The palace's facade features Gothic elements and an octagonal tower. It and its gardens are rich in symbols linked to alchemy, masonry, the Knights Templar, and the Rosicrucians. And in the chapel where they initiate to finish their trip and spiritual illumination, the beginning and the end of all the trip. I totally advise this place for a romantic escape. And full of secrecy too. Uh, we are here in uh, Sintra in the toilet. <laughs> He's playing Pokemon. 